Welcome back to Public Affairs on Peach. We are talking about Amendment 1, which will be on the November 8th ballot. Early voting, by the way, begins October 17th. Thought we should point that out. Amendment 1 would allow the state of Georgia to create an opportunity school district run by a superintendent appointed by the governor. You will have a chance to vote on it right now this year. Representative Dungeon, welcome back. Lisa Marie, welcome back. Um, I, I want you to describe what you believe the role of this appointed superintendent would be uh, in an opportunity school district. How would that work? Well, this school district superintendent's number one goal is to identify which schools to put into the program and they have to be failing three years in a row at least. But if, if the system is already working on a recovery plan or it's not really the worst of the worst, the intention is not just to mass take over all these schools. Just the ones that we think we can make the biggest difference in that again the local system is not having a current plan and then he will uh, form a, a local advisory board to help govern the school and probably either keep the principal or select a new principal and then try to get that local board to actually take ownership and make things work. The goal is not for the superintendent to run things like a top-down bureaucracy from Atlanta. We've seen the ads been running, as we mentioned in the last segment. What do you think, is there one specific problem you have that, that with this amendment that outweighs the others? It just kind of is an overarching issue for your organization. I think the idea of the loss of local control bothers us the most. The idea that an appointed superintendent of the governor, whoever he or she is, would have the right to take over our schools, and we do believe our voice is diminished. There's not anything in the enabling legislation, not one desk, not one pencil, not one computer, not one piece of curriculum that's proposed to improve the student performance. And I think that the ballot language is incredibly deceptive, and I don't understand why it would even be allowed to be proposed to people if it's not what the enabling legislation represents. How would the governor select a superintendent? How does that process work? He's going to try to find somebody who's got experience in school reform and education and find somebody who's got the charisma and the leadership ability to be able to uh, recruit people to the team because it takes good people in order to be able to do this kind of work. So um, I just think to try to, to find, probably do a national search to try to find somebody really good at this. Uh, let's talk about cost. Yeah. Is this something that's going to cost taxpayers more? It's absolutely going to cost more money. It's another level of state bureaucracy. It's got to be funded somehow. They pulled $8 million out of the education budget just to fund the Governor's Office of Student Achievement. The money's going to come from somewhere, and it's going to be on the backs of our children. No, the, the amount of money we're talking about here is going to be very small. And in fact, if we're talking about improving the lives of our children, that's very important. Lisa Marie has said that she's afraid her solutions are all more money for different programs. I think with a lot less money and more accountability and driving decisions down local, you can get better results with less money. Let's take this and broaden it out a little yeah. bit. I'm curious to get your thoughts on, on kind of what you think yeah. is the biggest issue, issue facing education right now here in the state of Georgia. Biggest issue is that we have a divide where we have some very high performing schools and then we have schools that were repetitively failing and we don't seem to have a way out, um, but there is a way out. At least when we mentioned the 80-80 schools, 80% <coughs> minority, 80% free and lunch, there are 20 schools in Georgia who also have 80% performance on our benchmark or B or A schools. So it can be done, it's not just about money, it's about expectations. When I went to Louisiana and met with them, they turned around one school which was almost all Hispanic and uh, English second language just by changing the leadership and changing expectations without a single dollar. It can be done, and it's not all about money. It's about expectations, it's about accountability, and we need to drive more of that down into our schools. Lisa Marie, what do you think? The I think if the is? state had a proven measure for this, there wouldn't be three state-run charter schools on the governor's takeover list right now. I think that they have shown that they actually don't have a model. It's not written into the legislation, and I think the biggest concern that we have is what happens to the children if this idea doesn't work. We can't put the genie back in the bottle. Amending the Constitution is a very serious task. Um, we've done it 227 times in the course of our, I mean, in 227 years in the course of our nation's history, it's only been done 27 times. Ten of those were with the Bill of Rights. We have to be very careful about amending the Constitution of the state of Georgia. We already have laws on the books that allow us to take over failing schools. If the state would fund it, focus on reducing classroom sizes and improving the the community and the things that are happening systemically in those communities, then we could achieve student performance. That will have to be the last word. I have to leave it there because okay. we're out of time in this segment. Thank okay. you guys both Thank so you. much for joining us. You can weigh in yourself on the ballot issue November the 8th or on early voting starting on October 17th. Again, that is ballot amendment one. When we come back, everybody's always complaining about the traffic here in Atlanta. <laughs> when we return on Public Affairs on Peach, we take a look at one of two transportation measures on the November ballot. We'll